Hi guys, it's Connie here from Say It With Simplicity and today I'm in Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to take you through a quick tutorial about how to make this Christmas star using the star tool in Adobe Illustrator. Um, first I wanted to say thank you to the new subscribers to my channel and some of the encouraging comments that I've received lately. Um, I really appreciate it all and it's great to know that these tutorials that I'm making are benefiting people. Um, I like to create some of my own designs and I you know, also purchase some for things that I create for local markets and, and so um, I just wanted to share a picture quick of one of the signs that I made here and it's this Hark the Herald Angels Sing and I used this star in the middle of this text. Um, this is a, a font that I activated in Adobe Illustrator and this is one from Font Bundles and I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. Um, some of these other designs, this is um, an edited version of a design that I bought and then um, this is just one that I came up with. This was a um, buffalo check plaid from Alicia English and so you know there's a lot of neat fun stuff that you can make with your with your silhouette cameo or your Cricut and um, Adobe Illustrator is one of the ways that I use to make designs and there's an also also a lot that you can do in the Silhouette Studio and you can check out my channel for those tutorials there as well. So I'm going to hop back over here to Adobe Illustrator and one of the things that I want to do is have the properties panel on so I'm going to go here to window and properties so that my properties panel is showing and I also want to go to View, um, Smart Guides. You can also press Control U on your keyboard and that will take you to Smart Guides if you're working in Studio. And those keyboard shortcuts are, are nice to remember so that you can, you know, improve your workflow a little bit, do things a little bit faster. So um, let's go over here and I want to click on this the shapes panel. Um, this is right now set on the rectangle tool but if I click and hold that opens up this panel and I'm going to go to the star tool. So now if I just go here and I drag um, it'll create a star and it kind of remembers the last thing that I did so that's why it's drawing this particular star. Um, let's delete that and let's just pick that star and click in the middle of our page here and it brings up this panel. So um, you could go to say a five point star. Um, so that's the five point star and let's undo that star. Um, but let's bring up that star panel again and I can put this down to four and I'm going to fill in some information here for the star that I used for this particular one and I did this first radius at 1.75 and this radius 2 at 0.55 and if I click OK that gives me that star and right here you can see that pink line for the smart guides I'm not going to be using it just quite yet but it will come in handy in a little bit. So I'm going to go back to my selection tool and one of the neat things about working in Adobe Illustrator is that you can go to edit, copy, paste, um, but if you hold down your alt key on your keyboard, um, I'm not sure what it is on a Mac, I'm on um, PC, but I'm going to hold down the alt and I'm going to click and I'm going to drag that shape and now I have an exact duplicate of that shape on my um, artboard. So I want to transform or rotate this, this um, shape and I could grab the handles here to visually rotate this 
and I can go control Z if I want to undo that. Um, but I want to go to this transform panel and let's go to transform and this gives me a degrees of rotation here. So let's um, go highlight that and add 45 degrees and when I hit enter now my star duplicate that I made has changed um, to a different angle than it was before. So now I'm going to go to my properties panel and I have this maintain width and height proportions um, on on and I'm going to go to to and that is going to bring that size down to something um, that I like a little bit better for this and now I'm going to click on or drag across both of these and I can horizontally align and vertically align over in my align panel and while those both are selected still I'm going to go to Pathfinder and I'm going to Unite and that is going to give me that star shape. But now I'm not quite done. I'm going to go to my direct selection tool and you can see that there's different um, these little circles kind of if you drag them they'll round off the points and but you can see all of the um, editing points and I'm going to go a little bit closer here and I'm going to just click on this edit point and I'm going to drag that down and you can see that pink line there for the smart guides showing me that that's directly in the center and um, now my star is complete. And I'm going to zoom out there a little bit. And, um, you know, if you wanted to, you could move any of these editing points. I mean, right now it's nice and symmetrical. Um, you could go back to your selection tool, narrow that up a bit if you wanted to, or, you know, however you want your star to be. Um, so that's how I made that star for um, that design in in sil um, in Adobe Illustrator. And of course, you can go up to your file, save as, and um, let's choose SVG star SVG file type. Click on save. It already exists. I'm going to go to Yes, I want to overwrite it. And I can click on OK. And now I'll be able to use that star in designs that I'm working on in Silhouette Studio or if you have Cricut. Um, so that's just another way that you can make some of your own images in um, Adobe Illustrator that you can use across your other programs. Um, I like Adobe Illustrator. Inkscape also has a star tool that works a little bit different. Um, there's a star tool in Designer Plus or above in Silhouette Studio. And I'm thinking about doing another tutorial um, and doing that one in Silhouette Studio as well. But Thanks for stopping by today, and I hope this was helpful to you. If you like these videos, I hope that you will share, and um, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me to um, keep on going with more design tutorials in Adobe Illustrator and Silhouette Studio. And again, thanks for stopping by, and have a great day. Bye now.